Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome naturalistas, welcome members of the Natural Hair community. We're here today to just look back at 2018, give it a fun little roast. Overall, I think we as a community did pretty well this year, maybe even better than last year, because there really wasn't that much that we had going on this year. So, yay for that, you know, clap ourselves on the back for that one time, two time. But yeah, just a couple things I noticed that was kind of, mm, number one, overnight growth schemes. We still doing this y'all. We still have some new miracle thing coming out every couple of weeks, every couple of months. We just finished talking about this one, another one came up. I think last year VIX was the biggest one. They had like Chebe or Chebe, however you pronounce it. That one didn't take off as much. I don't know if it was because the ingredient itself is messy to apply or if it was just hard for people to get a hold of or what. And then this year we had rice water, which everybody and their mama was doing because it was so easy to do. But don't you just get tired of it? It's like, what happened to the last one? Didn't the last one work so great? How come we have a new one? Like who is down there? Like, you know, you got little beetles in the background coming up with schemes. Like what's the next scheme? Like just let me know in advance. I can prepare my heart <laughs> to receive whatever new thing you're gonna come up with like somebody out there knows what the next big hype for hair growth is gonna be and it's gonna be something you're gonna see something in 2019 I don't know I just get tired of like all the new new all the wood on the street and all that let me know if that's you the next one is canceling stuff so you guys saw my share moisture videos I'm all about canceling when cancellation is called for but how are you gonna cancel something because of the ingredients that been on the label? Like, like how that even work? And then even if you're gonna cancel stuff, okay, canceling stuff, the ingredients change. I I can see it. But canceling stuff with the ingredients that been there and never change, like, who <laughs> was really good with that? Like. I don't know. Never know. Everybody cancelled Eco Styler. There was a big hype about Eco Styler based on the ingredients triethanolamine and tetrasodium EDTA. Next thing you know, everybody hyping Wetline Extreme Gel that has the exact same ingredients. Like, like, as a community, we need to do better. We need to not just follow the hype and we need to know what we want to do. It's okay to change your mind and stuff, but do your research before you make up your mind. Like how do you go from cancelling Eco Styler for something and then just stop the ingredients again and hype Wetline Extreme? Somebody explain the heights, explain the math to me. If you're gonna cancel stuff, let's keep it consistent. And just don't even bother canceling it if you know you're gonna uncancel it. <laughs> the next time something new comes out. As for Shea Moisture, like for me personally, it's cancelled. I have no reason to buy Shea Moisture. Lots of products that work better for me without some weird black woman hating ex-owner man in charge of it. So like, I don't need that in my life. But I don't even mind people, other people using it or whatever. Like it's never that serious for me to hit some on somebody else just because they choose to use something. Like free will, free choice, free market. It's all for us to just pick whatever we want. So it doesn't have to be cancelled for you. Anything I cancel doesn't have to be cancelled for you. I never tell people to go cancel something. I tell them it's cancelled for me because XYZ and that's the end of that. And it's not going to be cancelled because of the label because I read the labels all the time. And if I do slip and buy something without reading the ingredients, the first thing I say is my bad. I don't read the ingredients properly and this is what's really good. Whenever I'm buying something new, I'm on EWG. I totally think that it's kind of trash. So I'm on EWG or something like that to look up some of the effects and decide if it's safe or not. Hair ruination videos. This product broke my hair off. YouTube even breaking people's hair off. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. YouTube did not break your hair off. You put it in. You left it in. And you may or may not have used it in the best way. So I can understand like product didn't work for you and stuff like that. And I can even understand a little clickbait or whatever, whatever. But when I click on the video, I want to see some kind of accountability, responsibility and ownership. Unless it's a relaxer, like which we aren't even doing. Like regular natural hair products. Usually you put it in, it gets dry, you leave it like that. It gets tangled, you leave it like that. And then by the time a week later of it being in, you take it out and you're seeing issues. So you can't really blame the product for that. I have something called emergency co-wash, which happens when I put in something like that and it doesn't work for me. I don't care if it's the next day, I don't care if I just wash my hair, it's coming out. Because I monitor my hair, I don't let things get beyond a certain point. So let that be you for 2019. 
monitor your hair when you put something in there and if you need to take it out take it out and if you don't take it out and it has some breakage maybe both of y'all together broke your hair off but don't blame the product alone and even worse don't blame like something that's not even a product like youtube peer pressure broke my hair off viewers broke my hair off like mm -mm. Mm -mm. and let me know if y'all need a full video on that on how to not let things people aliens products break your hair off i can do a video if you want me to do one so let me know <laughs> let me know down below and the follow-up to the whole hair ruination videos is like two months later it's all good if your hair was ruined and you had split ends all over the place and whatever whatever you never bothered to trim your hair or nothing and two months later all the split ends gone all the breakage gone it doesn't work like that it don't work that way if it was something like dryness or something fine that's fine, but I don't consider that to be ruination. Ruination for me is like breakage and split ends and things really falling apart. That kind of stuff doesn't just fix by itself. Ruination requires... Right? <laughs> so, in 2019, we know that split ends require hair shares. No trim solved. But let's set some boundaries on what we will and will not do. I think some of the challenges for 2018 were definitely cool and fun, but some were a little bit overboard. So people mixing all their products together, that was a bit much. I don't even understand why anybody would want to mix shampoos, gels, deep conditioners and everything together, except to waste money. These things are formulated to do different things. Let's think things through for 2019 and make sure that what we're doing could maybe at least, at least maybe have some kind of benefit to it so i don't mind like if you decided to just mix deep conditioners you managed to do the challenge and still make it sensible do you boo more power to you but don't be mixing cleansers and gels and i don't know what even you're gonna do with that after so some challenges are better left alone so hopefully for 2019 all the challenges will make sense another one for youtubers youtubers selling Hair growth oils and butters for expensive prices that really just have one or two ingredients like just selling a hair growth oil with just olive oil and a dash of peppermint or selling a butter with just shea butter. I can understand if you sell it reasonably priced but don't be selling like four ounces of shea butter for $20. Like that's not love. That's not nice. So can we leave that in 2018 like all the exploitation? Price it to suit. Don't be that person. YouTubers, talking to you. Don't be that person. I hate my natural hair. Can we leave those videos in 2018? Please? I don't know, please. At least can we see less of them? Like, we've been doing so well with loving our hair, getting to know our hair, feeling excited and up to the challenge. So what's up with all these YouTubers? You've been a YouTuber, natural hair YouTuber for years and you suddenly hate your natural hair. Like, we saw so many of those, I guess it because people wanted to do the whole relaxing thing, which I guess we haven't talked about the I'm getting a relaxer type videos, which again, I hope I don't see as many of in 2019. Not because People can't hear relaxers if they want to, but because there was a lot of weird stuff going on. <laughs> there was a lot of weird stuff going on with that. Um, I don't want to say people were just doing it for views, but people were getting a relaxer and then changing their mind. People were getting a relaxer and then trying to wash and go their relaxer. Like, if you want to go get a relaxer, that's okay. But I just hope that as a natural hair community in 2019, we will see some I love my hair videos. Maybe I should do one. I love my hair. I love your hair. I love everybody's hair videos in 2019. Like, that would be a great thing to see. What do you think? And, of course, YouTubers, dishonest reviews. Come on, let's do that in 2018. Like, you ain't gotta lie to kick it. You ain't gotta lie to kick it. We can see your hair. So we can see if it looks good, if it looks like it usually does or not. So don't pretend you love something and we can see that it just didn't work. And I, I've been noticing some keywords and stuff like I had to use another product after, aka my hair was dry. Um, I redid my hair after a couple of days, aka it didn't last. Like now I have to kind of read between the lines when I'm watching a review. But it shouldn't be that way. And I know I get hate for giving honest reviews. A lot of like natural hair brand owners are kind of scared of me. <laughs> Which is fine because I tell it like it is, I really do. It's okay to be honest. It's okay to review a product and just be honest about it. That's not saying like you don't love the owner, you don't love the brand, you're not hoping to see other great new things from them in the future. It's just saying how this one product worked for you. And that's okay. So please leave the dishonest reviews in 2018 and find that balance. Find that balance between getting your coins, 
and keeping it real and that's gonna help all of us to grow it's gonna help the owners to grow with proper feedback it's gonna help us users to grow imagine if we could each just buy what's gonna be good for our hair because you know everybody's giving honest reviews like don't you think overall the hair products on the market will get so much better so do your best to help that happen to help that dream come true I never want to see a vlogmas again in my life it was just flooded with videos about nothing I don't like to, I don't want to be harsh. Some of y'all had good content, for sure. Some of y'all did have good content. But a lot of the videos were like videos. Here I am walking my dog, be lovers. Like, it was just spam. It was just plugging up my news feed. It was just plugging up my notification bell. So please, no more vlogmas. Let's just kill vlogmas. And if we're not killing it, make sure you have the best planned, structured, informational entertainment vlogmas plan or just it's okay to skip it even post more frequently it's all good even put vlogmas in your tags i don't even care but can we please not have a video every day of nothing happening please because i don't mind if one or two of y'all do it but with like a hundred of y'all doing it my feed was so cluttered and i'm so glad for that to be over soon if not over no more vlogmas no more mm -mm. No more vlogmas, 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 please. Please, please, thank you. So that's it, I hope you had fun watching. And I hope that this kind of gave you something to think about or gave you a few laughs or you could relate to some of it, <laughs> I guess. I try not to be too petty, but I'm kind of petty, you know? So hopefully I was able to get the tone right that I encourage everyone. But if I didn't, I tried, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna work on that and work on me for next year. <laughs> so let me know what are your pet peeves. It's okay, no judgments. I'm gonna be leaving in 2018. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.